All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Court of the Rings on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. I'm Latrose Community Manager Cordova, and I'm going to be with you for the next hour doing a little bit of questing. I'm going to start with the latest news, so uh, you can just pay attention to that and check on out if you want to. Otherwise, we do have a full list of shows throughout the day on Twitch in particular, so check us out if you would, twitch.tv slash stream. Happy Friday to everybody. It's it's going to be a, a good weekend. Start off with, we've extended the Yellow Omen skirmish event by a week. So instead of this being the final weekend, this is now the next to final weekend. And uh, it is now running through March Fourteenth through March fourteenth. Before I say a number, I'm double triple checking here. So yes, through Sunday, March fourteenth, it'll be shut off on the fifteenth at three a.m. Eastern time. The Ill Omen skirmish event extended by a week. A uh, quick note: we do have double bonus points back. That's through March fourteenth as well, and our. Spring Festival is also coming up here real quick. That is not next week, but the week after. So that'll be starting on Thursday, March 18th at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. I've seen some things for it. It's looking pretty good there. On top of that, you know, April is our anniversary month here over on the Lord of the Rings Online. And I saw a thing yesterday that made me squee. And uh, I hear that's for the anniversary. So uh, we've got some cool stuff in the works here. And of course, we have got update 29 coming very soon. Uh, probably not next week. Maybe the week after. We'll see. Uh, but update 29 is going to be coming in the very near future. Additionally, I've got some news on the producer's letter before I get in game. And that is that... Uh, Really, as of the moment I am speaking this, if everything works out, if as of the moment I'm speaking this, everything works out, we could be set to publish the producer's letter as soon as Wednesday. So that could be something for next week, uh, perhaps, if everything works out as, as it currently sits today. If exactly what is, where we are today is does what it needs to do, then uh, we should be ready to publish, say, like something like next Wednesday uh, for the next producer's letter. So that's the other, that's the other big news. Yep, nothing could possibly go wrong. You know what? I think everything is going to be all right. All right, what do we got over on Facebook? Hello from Switzerland, awesome, awesome. I was playing one of your Switzerland's game developers games. Uh, there's a group of game devs in Switzerland. Uh, I was just playing one of their games last night. It was sweet. Can't promote it here, sorry. Hello from Scotland, hello. Ooh, nice, on the High Elf too. All right, cool. Well, I am going to, so that really is the, the news of the day. So if, if there's anything else uh, in terms of, uh, like, if you're like, I don't want to watch him play some Lotro, well, you don't have to. I'm, I'm done with the news here at this moment. So, uh, so I think other than less people manage to get something out of me in chat, which I'd be happy to do. I just don't know that there's really a lot uh, other than that that we can mention especially really on the cusp of having the producer's letter out, right? So we're going to have uh, a bunch of info in there, hopefully. Some of which, a lot of which, frankly, you already do know, right? Because we did have those Q&As. Uh, and some of those Q&As, uh, you know, we let drop. Some of the info that might otherwise have been in the producer's letter. But, uh, but I, there, is some, there is still some stuff in there. And uh, it should be pretty cool. And uh, it should be hopefully released um, next week. Yes, yes, thank you, Elda. The other big thing I need to mention, we have got a big show next Wednesday, probably 3 p.m. Eastern. Let me let me lock that down today before I say for sure, but most likely something like next, next Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Scenario is going to be back right here on twitch.tv slash LotroStream. Scenario, World Builder. Uh, he did a stream, I guess, about three weeks or so ago, and it went really well. 
and uh, he enjoyed it, and you enjoyed it, uh, overwhelmingly enjoyed it, and yes, I know I still don't have the game in here. I spawned in to a Sundergroat Sentry Soldier and Goblin Drudge, and I don't want to die before I even get started here today. So, let me, let me take care of these mobs, and then I will swap over the game camera here and do that. But, we have, yes, we have got a scenario stream next Wednesday. And uh, that's over on twitch.tv slash LotroStream. So, that should be cool. I hear the vote picked Angmar. I hear the vote picked Angmar. So, uh, and also I've turned down the volume of the game. Uh, that was up because I was uh, playing last night and wanted it to be. There we are. So, oh, my camera actually could use just a little movement here too. There we go. A little bit better there. Yeah, so that's going to be really fun. Uh, that If you missed the first one, then you kind of missed out. Uh, and it's still available to watch, of course. So you should maybe consider watching it. But uh, don't miss this next one live, maybe, huh? Because it's, uh, it's going to be pretty sweet. So I was hoping to be elsewhere than where I ended up being here uh, today. So I, I was hoping to get done with Sundergroat. Uh, when I was playing last night, but I, my uh, kinship ended up getting going, and I ran out of time. I just ran out of time. So we're basically where we were at the start of last week, needing to uh, blow up a couple of bridges, and that is, and go through some combat, and that's what I'm doing. I did uh, yesterday destroy one bridge, but then I, like I said, I just ran out of time to do anything else. So, so that's what's going on gameplay-wise here. Anyway, uh, before I finally get going and put uh, put to rest the uh, announcement about scenarios thing, there is a vote taking place right now, but it's going to close real soon. And we're going to Angmar. Uh, that is where scenario is going to be next Wednesday for the kind of I we don't really have a formal name for it yet. Maybe if this becomes a show, and and it seems like there's maybe a chance, maybe right as long as everyone still is nice to our our poor uh world builder and in, in chat and everything and it isn't uh as long as everyone's having a great time you know right so i think it should be good i just for those who maybe watch court of the rings just a quick remembrance or reminder that uh um Scenario doesn't really have the ability to say, like, work on PVMP or fix lag, that kind of thing. So the questions in chat there are going to be related specifically to world building, uh, landscape building, the, the work that he can specifically address and talk about and comment on while going through the area and sort of providing almost like a commentary track style live stream. Uh, and it's really good. So, hope you check it out. Hope you have a good time with it. Uh, but just a reminder, basically, he, he can't help you with this stuff. So, that's not his that's not his role. So, harass me with that stuff, not him, basically. <laughs> Ooh, there's my sapper. Nice. Nice. Alright. We also do have uh, an upcoming... Uh, chat with Sev, that'll be happening here too. That might be a few weeks away yet. Um, frankly, I know Sev is, is really busy right now. Uh, working on a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, some of which will be in the producer's letter. And most of which will, maybe not. Um, but is potentially a big deal. But we talked just yesterday about, ooh, when are we going to do another one of those? So, uh, assuming that that actually ends up being the case... I want to clear out before I grab that sapper back there. Just to make sure. And that's a good thing too because I can't... Hmm. So where is that other bridge? How do I get... To, do I have to go the south to get that other bridge? Or do I really have to go like all the way over? No. Hmm. So this is why I got stuck last night, and then my, my kidneys showed up, and then I, I just ran out of time. So 
someone wants to give me a quick tip and chat, I'll take it. So. Will the task carry all be available in the Lotro store anytime soon? Probably. Well, maybe I am just supposed to blow up this bridge again. So, well, fine. Let's let's do it. See what happens. Okay. There we are. I'm persistent. Yes, I am. I am indeed. All right, well, let me clear this stuff out. Ah, great. Uh, thank you, Aldo, for dropping the link to the first scenario chat over in Twitch chat. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Let's see, what else? So, like I said, I've really talked about the news. So that, that really is the, the news as I... As I can think of it uh, today, we do have uh, some nice concerts happening, so keep an eye out for the Lotro Beacon. That'll be happening. Oh, I could mention related to the Lotro Beacon. I put out the word about this on social media. I guess it was last, well, I don't know, sometime recently. And that word is that one of the things I'm lacking in content for for the Beacon, because it's kind of hard to find through just let's just say a google search or some sort of organization program or social media sort of aggregator sort of thing is blogs there's a lot of locher writing out there whether it's poetry screenshots uh you know i know about like say the fashion blogs and things like that but but there's a lot of others and you know what i'm gonna do i am simply going to do this because i can uh there we are. Uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Not quite sure what I was uh, talking about there. Oh, hey, I remember you. Approach the dwarves. Okay. Me too. All right, let me uh, head back to chat. Uh, when is update 29 coming out? Very soon, not next week. Perhaps the week after. Stay tuned for something a little bit uh, more substantive than that in the coming days. Probably could be at least a week till years or something on it. But there we are. Uh, I would say that writing dev diaries is absolutely not a gone deal. Uh, I mean, let's be real. It is for someone interested in doing something like that a little easier to just kind of get in front of a camera and do a Twitch stream for an hour uh, than it is to write up a dev diary and get all that done. So there is a little bit of, it takes less work to some extent, but it still does take work. So uh, don't uh, don't think it does not. Um, but as a matter of fact, I have heard plans to do dev. I've had a couple of people over the year uh, recently say, I, hey, I'd kind of be into doing a dev diary if I can find the time for it. So... So I would say that that is kind of where we sit on on that in terms of are we getting another dev diary soon. But I would also say that there is interest in doing something like that. So maybe we'll we'll be able to make that happen. It is true though that I think the idea of let's say regular monthly dev diaries or something is at, at least at present day unlikely to be a uh, something that we see. But but you know, there's interest in doing it. So, and we know that it's been a while since we last did one. So, 
But, you know, like, this this kind of scenario stuff is particularly interesting, I think. In, in many ways, not that it's better than a dev diary or whatever. I'm not trying to quantify anything like that. I'm just saying that, um... There's a... That first one was awesome. And I think everyone else, basically, everyone pretty much, everyone pretty much agrees uh, that that first one was awesome. And so I think that being able to provide that kind of insight is something that we have not really necessarily done nearly enough of over the years. And it's sweet. So... I look different in 4K UHD. I don't want to look at myself in 4K UHD. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for whatever the result is. I have no control over it. But I apologize. No, I'm fine. Uh, uh, one thing that did happen, however, you might notice. You might notice a little bit better webcam going on. And uh, that is because I uh, may have had the one that I use in the live stream room uh, that I got for the live stream room literally right before I uh, COVID hit I brought it I got it home and hooked up so it's a it is not 4k but it's a little more high res cordo here with a much higher frame rate so there you go yep So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Evernight. So we, if we're going to, for the extension, we had to do some work and, and so we're, I don't think we're going to extend it a further time and until in terms of ill omens, sorry if, if that's a, uh, bad for you. Uh, but I think that extra week is what we're going to probably end up with. Uh, in terms of ill omens extensions. How is the chat server background work progressing? This one from uh, Merida1301 over on YouTube. Uh, that work is progressing just fine. There was work done, I believe, on, was it Monday, Tuesday of this week, related to it. And uh, we have got some things that we're pursuing. I think that's where we sit as of today on it. But uh, it was worth doing, and uh, we have made progress. We do not yet have a fix, but... But, stay tuned. All right, let me head over to Facebook. Uh, someone over on Facebook who was banned on Twitch wants to get unbanned by asking me about it in Facebook chat. There is a way to f submit a formal unban request for Lotro stream. Uh, I can't think off the top of my head how that is, but I know that I get ban appeals when I log into Twitch as Lotro stream. So, and it is true, however, that I have not actually looked at that list for probably a month. And uh, generally that's because I have found that uh, people who were banned from Twitch usually deserved to be banned from Twitch. However, however, I am happy to hear your appeal. So uh, please do make one. And uh, for everyone else who might be out there, I'll, I'll, I'll try to get to that today. I'll try to take a look at that today and see what I can get to. So there you go, person on Facebook.
All right. Uh, any news about expanding wardrobe bank vault space? Nothing to announce today. Sorry. Um. Uh, Ashakra says there was a forum thread this week. Basically, someone had their account hacked, and it was a a terrifying, frankly, forum read. Um. And that has brought up, you know, the question of will we ever get two-factor authentication for Lotro? That is something we would like to do as well. We are absolutely not opposed to bringing two-factor authentication to Lotro. Uh, but we'll kind of end up seeing when that happens. But it is something that, yes, we would actually like to do. You know, I think, I know people sometimes get a little bored uh, watching me do this, but I think actually missions sounds like the thing to be doing right now. So I think I might do that, since I'm kind of but not 100% sure what I'm, uh, where I'm going. So, uh, why don't I just do that then? Because I don't actually really have much of a plan uh, for what I was going to do today. I was hoping to get this done last night, and then figure out what I was going to do next for the live stream, but I simply ran out of time. So, sorry everyone. Not that interesting. Don't watch it if you don't want to. If you want to, get that out. I've got nothing further of value to offer to you today. I apologize. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so two-factor authentication, for those who don't know, would mean that when you try to log into the game client, uh, you would need to use an Authenticator app or something like that. And that Authenticator app would um, send you a code, usually something like a six-digit code, something like that. Um, and then you would type that in. One, two, three, four, five, six, whatever, right? And then it authenticates. Two-factor authentication is what it's called. The reason is, is one factor being the password you enter on login, the other factor being the uh, auto-generated code that has to match with the login attempt. Uh, it's, it is a secure thing. It is a pain, kind of. It is kind of a pain. But as an option, and as a best security practice, it certainly is a good one. And uh, one that we would like to bring to Lotro someday in the future. Um, I just am not in a position to make any promises on that today. As someone who uses two-factor authentication always, I can tell you once you start getting like eight or nine two FA logins, it does start being a little bit of a pain. However, as an option, right? Especially for those of you who are concerned uh, about account security, which you all should be, right? Uh... It would help. Even then, it may not stop. Even then, it may not stop. Because it, it won't uh, stop, you know, maybe some level of of uh, getting your username and password the old-fashioned way kind of thing, right? You know? Uh, but it does help a lot with some of the kind of data mining stuff that that all of us as internet users have to deal with. But again, I am not here to announce that we are getting two-factor authentication, uh, and I am not... Uh, here to provide any kind of time frame as to when that might be. Other than to say, we too would like to see it someday. I just want to make sure I'm clear. Have you missed anything good? Um, I'd like to say yes.
But I don't have my cat cam on. So... Maybe not. So, Canwick. You have- you have sent- you have wounded me by bringing up a topic that, uh, that I'm still a little raw about, which is that my poor cuckoo clock is currently non-functional. The cuckoo, you know, he was not always the fa on time. You know, he'd been around for a long time. It, it took a little while sometimes to get up and get going. But it was at least generally within the right time frame most of the time. And, uh, about, uh, what, a couple weeks ago now, I was sitting here, uh, playing something, maybe a low trail. Actually, maybe it was last Thursday night. We could go Thursday or something. And the, uh, the pendulum, or not the pendulum, but the counterweight just went and just slid to the ground. So either uh, the counterweight came off its gear and just needs to be rethreaded, or, and frankly, probably more likely, um, it is either corroded or worn down, or the gear that it needs to be connect, or the system that it needs to be connected to is worn down. So I'm going to have to take it out. To take a look at it and especially with a delicate thing like that it's uh something i want to be very careful with so i've set it aside for now and i just haven't had time to get back to it so but i bring it up because i find it somewhat suspicious that my clock died immediately after people went on the live stream and started insulting my clock now, I'm not blaming you for killing my cuckoo clock. I am not blaming the live stream for killing my cuckoo clock. I am just saying it is a coincidence that makes me somewhat unhappy. So. <laughs> that poor little bird. Yeah. <laughs> kind of feeling the blame. No, no, no. No, seriously. It, uh, you know, especially it was a very old cuckoo clock. And uh, anyone who's maybe seen Repair Shop on on Netflix, it's a kind of a hot reality TV show series about people who fix, who are master craftspeople who fix antiques and things. Uh, there's a, a lot of attention brought to clocks because they have a master uh, clocksmith there. Who does work there and so anyone who's kind of maybe seen that show in recent months during all this covid stay at home of which hundreds of millions of you have uh you'll know that that kind of cuckoo clock mechanism could sometimes just be corroded and need a good clean you know things get kind of gunked up in there over time and that could be all that's going on as well and so i'll know once i pull it out but when you have a cuckoo clock like that you need to be careful one because it's so delicate because of its age um, especially because, as you all on the stream are well aware, the cuckoo clock mechanism itself is working just fine. It may not be on time, but it absolutely works. And uh, cuckoo's quite well, actually, for being a, what, potentially 60 to 70 year old cuckoo clock. Um, but I'm going to have to delicately take out the chime mechanism the basically the air compressor it's basically a little whistle that causes the cuckoo it's set to two different pitches and they have these tiny little delicate screws in there and you have to be careful when you're taking it out because it's all connected through wires to the bird and everything and it's all balanced really carefully so so that's what's up with the cuckoo clock where is Horn? Clean with vinegar. Yeah, you wouldn't really want to use vinegar per se. Uh, but there are some kind of solutions you can find out there that are, are pretty 
you can make yourself just open. I forgot to hit the chest. Whatever. Whatever. I didn't want that chest. Would a photo mode be an option in Lotro? Uh, that would be awesome. Uh, I don't know how likely it is that that's something that we will ever be able to bring to the game. Uh, there have been a couple of times over the years where I've had discussions with our engineering team in particular about how we could take some of the things that admins can do with the camera like what I can do where I can detach the camera and move around a little bit. And I've done that to great effect on the live stream over the years, occasionally. I can't do it from home, which is kind of part of the whole thing, right? Uh, for good reason as well. But I've had conversations over the years a couple of times with our engineering team about what would it actually take to set some kind of, let's say, tether limit that you could do on a detached admin camera that you could then use just like the admin command would. It would probably be something like controlling a button to detach the camera and then you'd use the numpad to uh, navigate it around. And you would still use WASD in that just like normal for your characters so you can kind of position them on the screen that's basically how it works um but you can't let everyone do that because as that stuff is performance heavy not just for you but for everyone else in that instance depending on how bad it gets so we would have to set some pretty strict tether limits but there's nothing saying we couldn't theoretically create a tether limit of I don't know something like 10 in-game meters whatever that would end up being right and uh, let you kind of detach the camera and spin it around and do whatever and there would be a ton of value in uh, to people in doing that the end result of that conversation with engineers is it's certainly possible to do there's nothing saying that it couldn't be done uh, other than uh, it would be a pretty big task to engineer a system like that and introduce it in a way that everyone would be comfortable bringing it to a large number of people in the game uh, without it essentially crashing all the game hurts. <laughs> Which it totally would yeah, otherwise. <laughs> so, uh, you know, uh, that is ultimately the, the thinking on it. But... How sweet would that be, right? And, and, you know, would people be willing to pay for it? Right? I would think. Yeah, I know, I know some people really, especially lately, have, have kind of crit criticized me in the forums for running missions while talking. Um, I get it. I get it. I But it, like I said, today in particular, I just happened to run out of uh, preparation time to really get things done. I wanted to get through that last bit of Sundar Groot and uh, then sort of do all the cell repair, get my bearings, figure out what I wanted to do next for content and get there before the live stream. Uh, and I just ran out of time to do that this week. So because I was able to, to get that bit of last bit of Sundar Groot done, uh, you know, with a bunch of time left, it just uh, worked out. It just makes sense for me to pop on over to here and take care of the mission. So, so I'm doing that. But I do understand what you're saying, and I will keep the amount of mission stuff I do 
on the live stream to things like this where it makes sense. And I will try to keep a focus on um, other content. Including more difficult eventually at level content once I am comfortable doing that in front of you. And I don't know when that'll be. I've not heard anything about making T45 Rummer Champ Bracelet Spartarable. Sorry. I get the reference, Sam. Yeah. All right, there we go. Let me head over. Curator news? Uh, not really. There was news from a while back, and that's that's the most recent news I really have related to the curator. Um, that was on the forums. Uh, Tiber, I believe, had said something about the curator. Uh, I would need to look it up now, but. Yes, I especially in recent weeks on the live stream, I'm I'm well aware that that there's been a lot of people asking for barterable Pelinor set bonus gear, and uh, I don't have anything to announce there. I'm I'm sorry. Well, if it ever happens, we'll let you know. But but from a week to week basis, uh, I have not heard of any plans to do it. Sorry. Uh, Hero Lotro, yes. Uh, I don't, I am not specifically aware of gender locked tier 3 5 Remor Champ titles. However, I will say that that is something we would like to correct. So, uh, make sure you've got a bug report in on that one. And hopefully we can take care of that in the near future. Nagging you will continue until they're fixed. Well, I mean, hey, I can take it. I can take it. I'm just saying, don't expect, uh, don't expect, uh, to, to hear me suddenly have great news for you. I'm sorry. When is Runekeeper going to fi get fixed? Uh, well, I think the most recent word on that would be the Q&A from Sev recently related to class balance. And I think that that is really the latest word as to where we stand on individual class buffing in the short term here. Uh, clearly it's something that we intend to keep doing. But I don't know specifically about when we might get to Guardian or Runekeeper or Warden or uh, any specific class that uh, we're being lobbied to work on here in the near future. Other than to say, hopefully we can get to all of it, but and then as soon as possible. But I have, I don't have anything to say about a timeline on. That. I will also to follow up on female stout axe shouts. Man, I remember that one from a while back. I thought that was already fixed. Did we really never fix that? Okay. Well, maybe I'll have to see what's up there.
Uh, Sarah over on Facebook wants us to better give PVMP rank 15 something they feel for an accomplishment. Uh, basically, you don't like the, the stuff that you can get. I, you know, I don't have anything to announce there. Sorry you you don't feel it's much of an account, you know, much of a, a marking of, of that accomplishment. I have heard of thoughts about maybe some cosmetics, and I know cosmetics isn't always what people want, but for a couple of those things, cosmetics might be appropriate, right? Because it would be things like uh, that you could visually display that you are, uh, have accomplished something. Uh, I've heard of some thoughts about us doing some of that work here, but I don't know when, so I wouldn't want to make a promise on it today. However, would that specific issue be addressed as part of that work? I don't know either, so I don't want to get your hopes up. But to the extent that we would maybe like to carve out a little time to uh, do like some further PVMP love in terms of, hey, you've accomplished a thing, here's a reward you get. Uh, that has actually been something we've been thinking of. We'll see. We'll see if we ever get there. We'll see when we get there. Creep housing? Do you really think... So, I'm, it's an interesting idea. I don't think that there would necessarily be big opposition to it. Although it would be a big system to try to to maintain and debut. So, I really don't know if I ever see it happening. But maybe. Maybe. Theoretically. But the thing is... is it, Okay, so let's say you are Creepside PVMP. What, what do you actually want from your housing? Let's say, let's say that someone was like, all right, no, okay, sure, let's do it. Let's devote theoretical time that never exists to make this thing happen, right? Okay, anyway, whatever. What would you actually want it to be? Or is it just a joke? Is it just a joke? Or do you actually want it to be that? And if it was, what would you want it to be? And if it's just a joke, that's cool too. I like jokes. Ha ha ha. I am a jesting type. Okay, there must be a weapon barrel sitting around somewhere I kind of missed. Through here, maybe? Cave paintings, yeah, okay. No, I mean, honestly, the, the answer is people want us to work on creepside balance and things, and that's totally fine. Totally fine, yeah. I would say the odds of us prioritizing creepside housing are perhaps uh, slim. ATM. But still, it comes up so often enough as kind of a joke, not joke, but also a joke, that I wonder what it would actually be. What would it actually be?
Okay, I think I'm gonna head on back. It looks, seems kind of clear to me that I must have missed a barrel somewhere. Uh, cause I'm not seeing anything fresh. Uh, the anniversary festival is listed on the calendar, I believe, right? The public event schedule. So just, uh, I don't have it off the top of my head or fingers, but uh, it should just be listed there. So take a look. Hmm. Oh, is that it? Yeah! Nice. All right. What's wrong with Rune Keeper? I think they're awesome. I I'm not I'm not wading into that one. I don't know what's wrong, you know. Uh, there are some room keepers who would like us to do some work on room. Let's put it that way. Uh, what days are we doing the SSG streams for the anniversary event? I don't know. I don't know. We're, we're going to have to see where, where the world is by that point, right? We're, we'll see what's going on. We could do something kind of like what we did. Uh, so last week was DDO, Dungeons & Dragons Online's 15th anniversary. I just did it again. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I am killing someone out there with a OCT. Was like, just, 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 just. Oh. Yes. Yeah. It's because I've been running uh, missions on my uh, uh, a, a different character. And uh, that character's not a cap, so uh, I haven't been picking up the, getting the end reward chests. And so I just, I've, my finger habit is just terrible right now. Yeah. Uh, is there a difference between VIP event boost and VIP event on the calendar? No. Uh, VIP event, that is the VIP event. Um, maybe I should not capitalize boost, but it tended, I think, to help differentiate it and explain a little bit what it is, which is a series of boosts. Um, it's kind of one of those things where back, you wouldn't think so, but then, you know, you put a, a enough people at a thing and you're going to, people are going to get whatever message they get to the, in the way they get it and uh when we just said uh vip bonus uh people would sometimes think that that meant something other than kind of a series of uh boosts like that so i kind of tried to use the words vip event boost for vip event uh, to just kind of help clarify what its benefit to vips was um, but if I'm actually making it more rather than less confusing, I suppose I could uh, do something. I actually like that term, VIP buff. That's a good one. Although then we have those buffs in Bree, so maybe some people would be like, well, no, because that means I have to go to, what, like Bree to pick up my event boost? You know, whatever, you know. Trust me. 
but I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you cannot currently gift a year of VIP uh, due over on Twitch. Gifting in the new Locher market is something that we absolutely do want to do, uh, but we do not currently have the ability to do. And uh, hopefully in the future we'll be able to do that. But for now, uh, it's not, it's just not possible. So, sorry. Okay, I am missing Maybe I just need to wipe them all out, huh? <laughs> no. Oh, that's true, Tatiyota. We currently do not support gifting through the new Locher market. Uh, when we brought out the new Locher market, it, uh, Offered a lot of benefits, including no longer having to send you a code through email that often got lost or dropped into spam if you used obscure email providers like Gmail um, or MSN or Hotmail or Outlook or Yahoo. So, uh, in some ways, is much better, but in one particular way, which is in the ability to get a code generated that they, you then give to a friend, um, it does not offer that ability. So, that's something that we want to do in the future, uh, but we are not yet in a position to do it. Where? I really just need to. What am I missing here? I just, do I really just need to clear this out or I can okay Okay. Oh, there we are. All right. Yeah, I just missed that staircase up. All right. Uh, I have not heard of any plans to disable XP gain outside of the pocket slot. Uh, I know that there would be an interest in like a toggle functionality on that. That is one of those things that's on the, uh, you know, a wish list of sorts, right? But who knows? Who knows? It would be nice. But at the same time, the Stone of the Tortoise, well, it does mean you have to give up a pocket slot. Um, you know, is overall a pretty... It works. So, I don't know. We'll see. But yes, uh, there has been thought about how we would do it. It's just a matter of, of getting it through the, the development meat grinder, as it were. Yeah. <laughs> You're changing to proton mail. <laughs> 
The best email address I ever had. The best email address I ever had. Uh was back in the mid no late 90s late 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 90s late late 90s 98 99 something like that. seven maybe. whatever and it was a local isp provider called werewolf internet they were based out of like eau claire wisconsin i bet they're not still around but my email, my actual email address back then, uh, was jerry at werewolf.net. And how sweet of an email address is it? Oh yeah, you can just email me at jerry at werewolf.net. How sweet is that? Pretty sweet, says I. I should have just not done it, just to, to troll the stream. But no, I am going to pick up this mission reward chest. Uh, whoever has jerry at werewolf.net, if you still exist, and I bet you don't. Sorry. Hey, good timing. And that's another reason I like to do missions, because it, it works really well for kind of getting things done right in the middle of a sure here so let's uh let's call it a show thanks everyone for being here very much we have got uh, the grifflet stream with the tolkien professor coming up next druid's fire after that and a full schedule of which you can find it on twitch.tv slash lotro stream i'll be seeing you next week uh not doing missions going to be getting back to i don't know i don't know we'll figure it out for next week but we're going to be doing some more story-based content and things like that as well so We'll, we'll probably be, be moving on to that sort of thing. Have fun, everyone, and I'll talk to you again soon.